Welcome back. Now in this video, as I told you before, first we will implement the design for showing the comments that the user just posted and then we will get the data and just show it right down in here as I told you before. So let's go and start working on that right down in the widgets. We will create a new dot file and we are going to name this as a comments underscore widget now what we will do in here we will have a start for widget so write st and there we go the start for widget now we can name this as a comment widget remove that key we don't need this and simply click on the start for widget and import the library material load dot that is fine first we're gonna create some string drive variables we're gonna need that and in here let's do that so final string type the first one that we will create for the comment id and also what we will do we will just copy that for time saving and paste it for the commenter id and also the commenter name and also the comment body and also the commenter image url so let's now we did this so in here we will say commenter id as you guys can see and in here we will say commenter name now in here you will get the comment body and right at end we will have the image url that is fine okay now simply we will have a constructor for that so in here we will say const key and gonna have the comment widget okay now parenthesis and curly braces right at end semicolon take this down now we will say required and this dot comment id comma now what we will do simply copy that and in here paste it for the comment id name body image URL. now simply copy that from here and paste it down in here So we are done with that. Now the next thing that we will do, we will simply create a list for the colors. So we will show our different colors right on the image URL, simply the user image right in the circle. So there are going to be the different colors around the user image. So first we will create a list for that colors. So right in there and here we will say list and greater than last sign in here we will say color uh, name this as a color it's going to be private as you guys can see the underscore by the start of the colors so now edit and semicolon take this down in here the first color that we will have and implement let's have it for amber you can go and go whatever you want right in here so colors this time let's choose orange and this time we will go with the pink let's have a shared for that we will go with the shared 200 and comma now colors dot we will go with a brown also colors dot we will go with the cyan and also colors dot we will go with the blue accent and also let's have another that is going to be the loss and we will go with the deep orange or that is fine 
so if you guys want to remove that yellow line simply add it start add the final so, so it's fine now now let's jump right in the widget build okay in here now you will simply shuffle that colors so in here you'll see colors okay and you will say dot shuffle it's gonna shuffle it okay now in here we will simply return the ink well as you guys can see now nah, it's gonna take the on tag event for now we will leave this empty later on we will work on that on tag event first we will complete the UI design now below this we will say child gonna have the row widget okay now in there we will set some properties the first one it's gonna be cross axis alignment and cross axis alignment we will go with the start it's gonna be right in the start and the other property we will set is gonna be main axis alignment we're gonna set this also to start main axis alignment dot start all fine now down below you will say children right in the children you will have flexible widget it is going to take the child now you will remove it later on we will add it in here comma and take this down right in there we are going to set the flex to one as i tell you before about the flex and now it's going to take the child so in here you will have a container widget and right in the container widget we will set the height first we will set it to 40 and also we will set the width to 40 below this now we will do some decoration so box decoration and there we will set the border border we will go with dot all and when it end comma take this down you will set the width to 2 and the color we will set it to colors with the index 1 ok and here comma right at index 1 it's amber color ok right in the colors so in here we just have that now below down in here we're gonna set the shape box shape and we will go with the dot circle comma that's gonna be the shape now you will say image and we will say decoration image in here comma and take this down let's set the image so you'll say network image with the help of that we're gonna show the commenter image URL so in here we will say widget dot commenter image URL there we go as I told you before we are just implementing the design first okay for the comment just for showing it now in here we will simply fit it so we will say box fit dot fill put comma as you guys can see okay we just set the commenter image URL and you guys can see the shape is gonna be in box shape circle and we just set the image now down below we will simply show the commenter now so first we're gonna create some width between the commenter image URL it's gonna be right in a circle right in here like that and right in there we will show the commenter name okay like that in a row and in here there is going to be the profile right in the circle so what we will do we will have some width so the commenter name going to be in the little space with the commenter image url so let us go and first have the size box i'm going to set the width and in here we will set it to six add the const modifier this size box now as you guys can see right in here we are setting this in a row okay in a row widget as I tell you the commenter image 
gonna be right in here right in the circle okay as you guys can see the shape and uh, there will be the commenter image URL simply the user image and right in the row in here there's gonna be the name of that current user who will comment now below this science box in here we will say flexible widget in here comma and take this down you will set the flags to five and gonna have the children now for that you'll have a column widget and we just set the flags for this child to five okay as you guys can see now right in this column widget we will set the property cross axis alignment it's going to be right in the start so cross axis alignment dot star and right in here you will say children right in the children that's our text widget and comma in here take this down now we will simply show the commenter name as i tell you so with the help of widget dot commenter name there we go okay is going to show the commenter name now we will do some style for that as usual text style scroll down now in this text style you will set the font style first and font style you will go with the dot normal and let's set the font weight also we will set it to font weight we will go with the bold one so dot bold right after let's set the color color is gonna be let's go with a gray and let's set the font size is gonna be 16 there we go it's fine now we will have another text widget below in here so let's have the text widget what we will do right in there we will simply show the comment body so in here we will say widget dot comment body there we go okay and we will set the max line to 5 and let's have do some style for that so as usual text style in here what we will set it's gonna be similar to that let's have it from here copy it and paste it down in here for the comment body normal let's change this to italic so it's gonna be a little change from that and it's gonna be form trade it is bold we will make this normal and the color is gonna be same and also it's 16 here to here we will set this to 30 it's gonna be a little small as you guys can see so everything is just fine as you guys can see we get the comment body comment name commenter name and also we just get the commenter image url that is fine for the design we will show that so the design has been completed okay now this video is getting a little lengthy so we will start working right on the getting data that in the next video okay and in here add the constant modifier so the yellow line will be gone then as you guys can see right in here and the design has been completed okay so for now we just lap this on that event as you guys can see it's empty we will leave this empty right in the upcoming videos we will work on that for now we don't need this we will work on that right in the upcoming videos so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see ya